Welcome to my third lesson on integration by parts. Last time, in an example, we integrated x log x dx and talked about not knowing yet how to integrate log x. In this lesson, we'll find out. It turns out the integral of log x is found using integration by parts. How do we know this is an integration by parts problem? Sorry. The only way is to memorize that fact. So having been told that, let's pick a u and a dv. Not much choice, is there? We have to let u be log x and dv be dx. du is the derivative of log x times dx, so we get 1 over x dx, and v is obviously x. The integral of log x dx equals to uv minus the integral of v du. Substitute everything in. We get u times v is x log x minus the integral of v du. See the x and the 1 over x cancel? We get the integral of 1 dx, which is x. And we're done. So it was an easy problem. Let's check by differentiating. It's the product rule. We get x times the derivative of log x plus log x times the derivative of x minus 1. And we do get log x. So the integral of log x is x log x minus x plus c. We actually use this quite a bit later on, so it's a good idea to memorize it. And if you do forget it, it is an easy integration by parts problem. See you next time. Bye.